Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Camping Corner. Get your hands on your pocket. I'm cold. What's wrong with you? It is cold in here. We are it's on in the international interwebs. <laughs> you you got lucky last week when I stood in for you and we did outside four toy haulers. Yeah, that's, that's for you yes. too. <laughs> Hello, America. Welcome to Camping Corner. I'm Tony. You know the lovely and talented Mallory, Mallory or as we call her, my mouth. She's my mouth. Yeah. Hey, so, you know what tomorrow is? The big sale starts. No. Oh, that Saturday. starts today. Oh, that starts today. Sorry. That starts today, guys. <laughs> Today's Saturday. I'll get it together. But you know what I do know? It goes through the 27th. I do know that. <laughs> what else do you know about the sale, Mallory? Discounts on everything. Like, literally everything? Literally everything. Okay, what else do you know about the sale, Tony? What else do you know about the sale, Tony? I know that it's the biggest, deepest discounts of the year, and we have tons of inventory in stock. I know there's a lot of dealers that don't. Uh, we have a lot of stuff in stock. This would be what normally would be the Indiana Boat Sport and Travel Show. What else do you know about the sale, Mallory? We'll be open till 6 o'clock for the next three Saturdays. Are we open on Sundays? No. We will not be open on Sundays. How late are we open during the week? Till five. Okay, she knows her stuff. She just got a little confused on the day. That's All right. right. <laughs> so what's tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Sunday. Valentine's Day. Oh. oh sorry, me and my husband don't really do Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. You know, you never really have. You know, I did the most incredible thing. I'm going to pat myself on the shoulder. <laughs> I did the most incredible thing for Valentine's this year. What'd you do? I got my Valentine out of the house and sent her to California. She's probably happier that way. She's gonna go visit the kid. <laughs> One of the kids. There you go. So, okay. she's in California, which means psh, I didn't have to buy a Valentine's card. Isn't that also a kind of a gift for yourself as it's, well? Yeah, it's like a win-win, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, so speaking of Valentine's Day, even though I forgot what we're doing, um, this camping corner is couples coaches. That way, maybe if you like to spend time with your Valentine, you yeah. know, look at yeah. some. So for the first couple of years, you get to enjoy the couples coach, but if you enjoy the couples coach, the Too next much. thing you're gonna need is a bunkhouse. Right. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just, you know. Oh, goodness works. gracious, Tony. What is the first couples coach we're going to? Greer, what is the first couples coach we're going to? We're going to the Cougar. Cougar. The 22. 22 MLS. Super cool. So, the 22 MLS. Big, huge slide from here to the end of the kitchen area down there where Mau Mau is standing. The cool thing about this floor plan, you've got recliners so you can snuggle up and watch a movie. Mm -hmm. You've got a dinette that makes a bed if you need to bring an extra person. Right. It's got a king size bed. It's always good. It's got great food prep area. Huge kitchen area for a 22 foot coach. Power stabilizer jacks, power awning, LED lights up underneath the awning. It's got the in-command system, so you just push buttons to make stuff work. It's got the big 12-volt refrigerator. I mean, absolutely super cool. And heated and enclosed underbelly. Heated holding tanks, not only by the furnace, but also with the 12-volt heat pads. So this is a true coach that you can enjoy on Valentine's Day in Indiana. Yes. <laughs> Woo, look at that. Big old refrigerator for your wine, you know, for those special moments. Woo! Got the champagne. Chocolate covered cherries or strawberries? Ooh, yeah, strawberries. See, there we go. See, we're just giving you guys ideas. Gosh, look at us. All right, what's the next one? All right, guys, here we are in the Passport 2400 RV. Tony has found his place among the throne. Hey, you know the coolest one. Of the, the the coolest thing about this floor plan. Look. I'm not a small guy, 240 pounds. I, you know, I take up, I take up a little. I'm, I'm like a crowd when I'm standing someplace. You know what I'm saying? So, we've all seen the number of travel trailers, fifth wheels out there that have these 
little bitty bathrooms. You know, little bitty bathrooms. They're made for like normal sized human beings. You know, but as you can see, this <laughs> the bathroom in this 2400 RB Passport uh, is absolutely massive. His and hers sinks, washer dryer prep, so big cabinets here. Big cabinets and storage space over here. I know he has his pants up, but I still feel so awkward filming him right now. <laughs> you know what? People test. What do people do when they go into a camper? One of the first things they sit down on yep. the toilet. Yep. To make they sit sure on they the fit. toilet and then and then they step in the shower. Yep. You know, so you got a big stand up shower. You know. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna film Mallory now. <laughs> Mallory, what do you have? You were just in the bathroom got. with me. Is you've got, like you said, your nice theater seating, your couples, you can snuggle. Then you can warm up with your fireplace. That was very Vanna White-ish. Wasn't it? I, I've been practicing. <laughs> oh, yeah, we didn't turn that on. Turn that on. But, yeah, definitely this coach is all about the bathroom. <laughs> Tony's trying to get the perfect setting. Oh, I passed it. <laughs> Oh, darn. <laughs> you like the beeps, everybody? <laughs> I wanted to shut the heat off. I mean, we're in our heated showroom. We don't need heat from the camper <laughs> in the heated showroom. Okay, uh, on to the next camper. The, <laughs> the next one. I, 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 yes. The 174. Hey, so this is the 174 RK. Super cool floor plan. And you often hear us talk about our super duper executive producer, key grip, lighting girl, script writer, boom mic, boom mic, camera operator, all that stuff. Greer, ladies and gentlemen, Hello. Greer, <laughs> with her kitty cat paw. Got kitty cat paws on her mask. <laughs> She's fierce. So, Greer, tell us what your favorite thing about this floor plan is. I like the Murphy bed. And I like that you can put it away and you can entertain. And then when you kick everyone out, you can open it back up, chillax, watch some TV, and have a nice time. And I think another thing that people don't notice all the time, because it took me a while, is there's actually storage. So you can oh. shove all your shoes yep. down there under the bed. I thought you were going someplace else with that when you said shove all your... Yeah, what other SH word did I got to Oh, yeah. I cannot believe I hang out with you people. Oh, you were the one pushing all the buttons in the last one. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't saying like bad words or insinuating bad, bad words. I said shoes. So this unit, 174 RK, single axle, lightweight, easily towable by small SUVs, minivans, all that cool stuff. Yes. And it's got a slide with a dinette, storage space down underneath it, massive amounts of food prep area. So, I mean... It's crazy to see this amount of counter space in this size, single axle coach. Absolutely. Absolutely. And with the fact that most people, you know, ha hamburgers and hot dogs in the campground, you can lay, like, each hot dog out so they don't touch. <laughs> you can lay a hot dog buffet line. You betcha. Yes. Or put all your liquor bottles back here. That's, that's more like it. You know. Hot dogs and liquor. What nutrition we push that, yeah. in, in the camping corner. Did you miss the part where I said I'm 240? S'mores, liquor, and hot dogs. I mean, it's like our go-to food. All of this takes, I mean, you got to fuel this fire. Can't help it if you know how to have a good time. Okay, on to the next one. Okay. On to the next, next one. Next one. So last, but definitely not least. Hey, we're missing somebody. We lost Greer. She's camera shy sometimes. So Greer had no idea <laughs> that Tony was going to shove her in the video. Yeah. Gr Greer had absolutely no idea that she was fixing to be on camping corner. It was just a, hey, go in there. Bam. And then Dan blocked the door and bam. Here we are. Here yeah. we are. So. We are in the Puma 24 FBSC. Yep. So another, another great couples coach. This one I like for the rear bath. Yep. Because it gives you a bigger, again, a bigger bathroom. Yep. Yep. Nice size bathroom. I saved everybody. I didn't go sit on the toilet this time. Yeah, he's. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Tony. It might be a good size demonstration, you know. No, thank you, Tony. I appreciate I'll, it. I'll sit on the sofa this time. <laughs> bam! Oh, bam! Look, put your beers. Or waters. Or hot dogs. Or hot dogs. You can put your hot dog in there. Ghetto Kool Aid. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> For those of you that don't know what Ghetto Kool Aid is, 
It's regular Kool-Aid with double to triple the sugar. That's ghetto Kool-Aid. Oh. Or double to triple the alcohol. <laughs> See, we've, we've done to Greer. Poor Greer is part of the, she's part of the crew. <laughs> so, super cool floor plan, super cool layout. I really, for 2021, I really love the manufacturers doing the two-tone cabinetry. So you've got the light cream colored cabinetry over on this side. Then you do your darker stuff, your, your darker cabinetry up here, just to really give it, you know, uh, you know, most people, your entire house is a painted one color inside. You exactly. have, you know, rooms. And my wife says we have accent walls, which is just a wall with a different color on it for whatever reason. I don't get it. Wall. You know. It accents things. Thank you. It accents my, uh, we're painting again. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. yeah. Stacy, we got you. Yeah. Okay. Like every year, it's like, oh, we're going to do this. <laughs> we're painting this. So the Whoa. secret, guys, shh, don't tell my wife. The secret is paint the ceiling one time. Just like take the roller and hit the ceiling, your wife won't ever make you paint again. Done. Out of it. I get banished when we paint. He's revealing all his secrets. Hi. Right. Sarah just makes me redo it. Yeah. That plan doesn't work for me. She's just like, no, that looks like crap. Do it redo again. It. Yeah, and I'm like, I did it like crap the first time to try to get out of it. You're not doing it well enough. I'll I try that with enough. dishes, laundry. Yeah. I mean, if you do a bad job, she doesn't have you doing it yeah. anymore. So, a, you know, another thing, tw you know, 24-foot coach, big giant refrigerator. It's got the big 12-volt refrigerator. So for those of you that are, that are thinking about making your first RV purchase, you hear us talk about 12-volt um, refrigerators. So in the last year... We have made, um, a lot of the manufacturers have made the switch yep. from gas and electric to the 12 volt. refrigerators to 12 volt. Some states, it is illegal to run your uh, propane. propane and your refrigerator going down the road, which means you can't really keep it cold if you're not doing that. Mm -hmm. So the cool thing about the 12 volt refrigerators, they're bigger, they're less expensive. They get colder faster. They get colder faster. And they can run anytime. Yep. All day, every day. Bam, bam, bam. So it's really about just wanting to keep you safer and not illegal in some states. Yep. Don't want you to be a habitual line stepper. That's Whoop. right. That's right. Just trying to keep you guys honest. Yeah. Laws right. are like soft rules, you know. <laughs> it's like the speed limit. Eh, it's a suggestion. <laughs> Okay, we're cutting Tony off now. <laughs> Tony's done for the day. <laughs> we're now promoting breaking laws, drinking, hot dog eating, and breaking laws. That's what I've got out of this week's I, camping quarter. I didn't quarter. say break laws. I said they're just like... He said suggestions. Suggestions. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, I think we've loaded them with enough bad advice today. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your Valentine. Not on Valentine's Day, though. Yeah. You're not here. Sunday's closed. Yeah. Go spend time with your Valentine on yes. Sunday, not with us. Well, you can't. You can come all you want. The doors will be locked. <laughs> yeah. it's not gonna get very Mallory concerned. doesn't even know it's Valentine's Day, so. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. You know, guess Derek's not getting anything for Valentine's Day. No, no. <laughs> He's not. not. You know, pat on the back. Where's dinner? Hey, listen. Ask him if he got me anything for Valentine's Day. I'm sure it's going to be the same. All right, guys. You give as much as you get. <laughs> that is another episode of Camping Corner for you. We will see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye.